the retail space, perhaps even find a few stocks for long-term investors to consider. Well, joining us now is Melissa Armo. And now she's founder and owner of the Stock Swoosh LLC. Melissa, welcome to Market Overtime and, and thanks for joining us. Um, well, let's start off with some names in, in the retail sector. I know there's a few that uh, I think are on your, your wish list or your bull list. Um, maybe you could break down a few of those, uh, those symbols for our viewers. Well, first of all, I really like Amazon. They're getting into this space now with the low prescriptions. I think that's going to increase their business. And I've been waiting for a big, big breakout in Amazon for weeks, it feels like. The stock has really sidelined for so long that I'm surprised it hasn't moved higher. When you look at the overall market, and the SPY just made a new high today, some of these big names that normally drive the market have been doing what I call a rest period. So they're still enough trends, are still very strong. Amazon is one of those. It rallied today a little bit, it rallied yesterday. But Amazon is the kind of stock that can rally, you know, $100, $200 in a day. I'm waiting for a big breakout in that. Maybe it'll be tomorrow. Maybe it'll be in the next week. Okay, so Amazon is one of those names. Now, in the retail space, um, I also think I saw the symbol Kohl's and Target. What's your take on these two uh, symbols? Target is so strong. Target gapped up yesterday. Target made a brand new all-time high today. Target is actually acting stronger than any single retailer right now. That includes Walmart, that includes Amazon, that includes many of the names, Costco too, it's stronger than that. I don't, I, don't, I don't know what they're doing, but people are buying that stock and it's moving ahead of the market. Anytime you see a stock that's moving ahead of the market, that's a good sign because if you continue to get the market to move higher, which we may see tomorrow, we may see like you were saying earlier with your guest with a softer inflation number, if the market makes a new high again tomorrow, Target could take off again tomorrow. 250 could be a number that Target sees this summer. You know, interesting, I was looking at the uh, one-year chart of Target. Uh, that stock showing some strength up, what, like 90% going back 52 weeks. Whereas when you look at Amazon, kind of a sideways move, maybe a little higher, but uh, a lot of chop. So kind of interesting when you when you look at these two retailers, one pretty much in the, in the e-commerce and, and the others being bricks and mortar or a combination. What is, what is your take on retail versus the, uh, you know, bricks and mortar versus the e-commerce? And, and what are the areas of maybe long-term growth opportunities for both of these? Remember, Amazon, I forget if it was uh, which quarter it was, if it was at the end of 2020 or the beginning of 2021, they were spending a lot of money on COVID PPP so that they were they outputted a lot of money on what was going on with COVID. As far as Target goes, I think people are back out. States are opening up again the last six, seven months. People want to go to the store. They like shopping. So the, and Target has more interactive experiences at the store. And personally, when I go shopping, Target has really clean stores, really nice stores compared to something like Walmart. If I had a choice to shop at Walmart or Target for brick and mortar, I'd pick Target every time. They also have nice home goods. Amazon doesn't have any place to go to shop. So people are have been stuck in their homes for the last 18 months and they want to get out. They're going to go shop and they like the idea of going to places and actually picking out things and getting out of the house. I think that's one of the reasons why it's had a good move up. And again, they're selling different things that you can go and you can see and you can touch it and you can feel it and see if you like it and interact with people and ask questions. You don't have that with online. Uh, the problem with Amazon is it really is a beast. And again, getting back to the difference what they're doing with prescriptions and comparing it to Walmart, which has been selling off, I think that it's any company is hard pressed to compete against Amazon because the low cost of fast shipping and they're dipping their toes in the water of every single solitary thing you could ever think to want or buy. And they're getting it to people so fast. So kudos to Target for doing well, because yes, you're right, they are brick and mortar, but I think people want to get out of the house right now. Got it, some great takeaways there. Well, we've got just a minute left. Um, Melissa, let's um, talk just a little bit about looking forward. You know, a lot of our viewers are long-term investors. So I, I guess one of the questions they might have is what kind of fundamentals are you tracking when you look at this retail space going forward, Melissa? Well, again, I would look for a chart, a daily chart, that is moving ahead of the market. I would also look for charts that are in an uptrend. Okay, you don't want to long-term buy something that's in a downtrend. And I think that's what has been problematic with some of these stocks that are in these chat rooms that people are buying and they're getting whipsawed and they're getting hurt in them. Even though some people are making money, some people are losing money as quick as they're making it back. 
You've got to buy things long term that are in strong, strong uptrends. Remember, the market is in an uptrend. The market flipped around pretty quick from the drop off uh, uh, from COVID in March of 2020. You want to be with the market if you're playing something overnight long term. So look for things that are strong. Look for things that are in uptrends. Look for things that are moving ahead of the market. And if you want to get in something, I would watch for earnings. We're in a slow period now. We're towards the end of this earnings season. But the next earnings season starts in July. Watch and see if we have some nice volatility and movement and some big moves in July. Remember, we didn't really see some big moves in stocks, not just retail, but other things too, normally like Apple. Like what did Apple do in earnings? Next to nothing. I mean, things that you would normally see have big moves didn't really make them this quarter. So we could see a nice earnings season in third quarter in the late summer this year. And that's when I'd watch to take some positions in some of the strong retail stocks. Okay, well, Melissa, thanks for your input on the retail sector. You're absolutely right about the, the fundamentals, the importance of fundamentals. Uh, and you also mentioned some of the other the meme stocks. We just saw GameStop beat on earnings and revenue, and the stock's down $25 a share. So uh, different <laughs> worlds and different stocks. <laughs> and definitely want to keep those two separate. All right, well, thanks again, Melissa. We look forward to having you back again. Uh, on market overtime. Again, that was Melissa Armo, founder and owner of the Stock Swoosh LLC. Thanks again.